what is up YouTube so in this video we're gonna be going over um, the, the very very beginnings and basics of programming and coding inside of Roblox studio so if you're just starting out then you're gonna to want to watch this video um, the reason why I'm making this video is I've had two friends that I've known for years they know that I have a job as a programmer and they want to start coding themselves um, but they just have no idea where to start. They've done their own research and it's just very overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, that's why I'm making this video. Now, if you guys have any other video ideas you want me to make in the future, be sure to let me know in the comments, whether it be coding random things you think would be fun or whether it be just, uh, tutorials. Um, let me know down in the comments and I'll see if I can push those out in the future. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to be focusing on is we're going to be focusing on uh, changing properties. So if I was just starting out coding on Roblox, I would, um, and I think, and I think even if you want to get into web and software, coding on Roblox is still a good place to start uh, to really master the, the fundamentals of, of just coding and programming, um, all the basics and stuff that you need to know. Um, those things uh, can be used, those things are used in every other programming language that's out there. So whatever you're doing, um, you know, web and software wise, you're going to be using the same uh, concepts and the same fundamentals and all that stuff. But we're going to add a part to the workspace. Um, and so if you have the uh, properties tab open so if, and if you don't see the explorer properties just so you know you can go to view at the top and they're right there explorer and properties um, and you can just turn those on um, so yeah um, now we added a part to the workspace and we have the we're on the part the part is highlighted and we're we see all these properties right here okay now um, these properties can be changed in script and this was actually the first clicking moment that i had was being able to the fact that i could change properties inside of a script through code so first things first we're going to get our part we don't have to get our part but we're going to get our part because um it, it just makes sense to make it a variable, okay? So a variable is essentially a word that you could use anywhere later on in your code. So we're gonna do local part equals workspace dot part, and we're gonna say print part. Now, if we were to say just print part, it's probably gonna print the name because we're not saying anything specific. So we're just gonna do part dot position, print part dot position. So let's run that real quick and see if we can um, we can um, print print the parts position okay so now we actually get this position right here okay so this is the parts position all right so we've have successfully printed the parts position um, inside of workspace so we've gotten our part we made it a variable and then we said print part dot position now printing is something that you're going to be using if you code especially if you're coding in Roblox Studio, you're going to be using this um, often to, to debug and test your code as you go along. Okay, so prints are important, and what happens is it just prints information in the output. So if you don't see your output, you want to have that up. It's go back to view where you turned on Explorer and properties, and you can turn on output right here. All right, so it is very important as you're programming to always have the output open. Um, so yeah. Output is very important. Now, what we can do is we can say part dot position equals part dot uh, position um, times two, and we're gonna add a weight. Okay, so we're gonna add a weight, weight ten. Sometimes you might use weights. Now it's task dot weight, which is the same thing as weight, but now they want us to use task dot weight. So now, sometimes in code, you might use wait, all right? And all it does is it just waits. It just waits until, uh, for it to do the next step, okay? So it, basically, the code is going to get all the way down to here. It's going to read this wait function, 
and now um, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to wait, and it's not going to read this because it's currently waiting. So let's go ahead and play <clears throat> and see what uh, happens to our part within uh, 10 seconds. And there, there it is. So what it did, all, all it really did was it just took its current position. It just took its current position and it times it by two. That's really all it did. We could also make the current position a variable. So local current position equals part dot position. Okay, so now our part is, now our current position is a variable, and we can say current position times two. Um, and it's going to do the same thing. So this time we'll add a lower weight. We'll just do like three. Hopefully we load in. Let's do five. Let's do a weight of five. Hopefully we load in. And, and then th now we just did it again. So, um, yeah, and it did the same thing. We just made our current position, our parts position, a variable instead of calling on it. So we could remove this variable and we could say workspace dot part dot position. And it's going to do the same thing, right? But just variables make it so we don't have to write this. It's, it's, it's very unreadable when we have to use this throughout the whole entire script it's not going to be as clean all right so that's why we that's also another reason why we use variables okay so this is what i would do is if i was first learning how to code and i was trying to get those first um like those first clicking moments that i would need to in order to continue and really have fun with it okay so what what you would want to do is you would just want to go down um, oops. Whoa, dude. All right. So what you would want to do is just go to your go to your parts properties and say, okay. Um, let's see a, another property we have size. Okay. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do uh, part dot size size equals vector three dot new. Uh, 15 15 15 um you know so that's another that's another thing that we're changing and if you need to know how to uh call on a specific property just google it, it it's all on the roblox uh developer education platform so you can just google how do how do i change the brick color of a part how do i change the size of a part so for size you would use vector three dot new when you're declaring a new size uh, for brick color you would use brick color dot new and then tell it the string call on the string of the new brick color so there's different each property is different um, and if you have like let's say properties like bool properties so these check marks then you're just gonna say this equals false this equals true so if I were to say um, part dot can collide which can collide is a property that's going to make it be able to um uh be able to touch other objects and collide with other objects and if it's not if that's equal to false then it's not going to be able to touch other objects it's going to go right through them so let's just say part dot can collide equals false Oh, I thought I pressed play. My bad. And here's what's going to happen. Boom. Can collide was false. So it, it basically went through the floor. Um, because can collide's false. So it's not going to be able to register the floor. It's, you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not collidable. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. This is th this is what I would do for however long it took me until I really registered in my brain, like, oh, this this starts to make sense. I understand this now. Um, and you can actually just do stuff like this on your own and you're not afraid to program properties. You can do the research if you need to, like you can use Google if you need to understand how to change the brick color and stuff like that. But I would get this, I would have this first clicking moment before I continued on with anything else. Because this is very important because it's, it's just, the reason why is because it's really important for you to understand um, what you're doing. If you just copy keep copy and pasting things and you don't really understand how things work and all this other stuff then it's just you're never really going to grow you're just going to be on to the new stuff and i think that's why a lot of people get caught up is because they keep going to this new thing just because they went over this for a little bit and then they moved on to something else and it's like well you don't even really understand this first bit first like and that's what you need to do you need to be able to understand this you need to be confident in this you need to under know what this is and know how it works before you move on um and so yeah hope that video helped i'll see you guys later peace